Hi, folks. My name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-ray. In this world we live in, we occasionally run into those in their profession that don't perform well or may not know exactly what they are doing. If it is a waiter or car wash cleaner, a clerk or a teacher, this will not have a significant effect on the safety of those impacted. But when policemen, firefighters, and healthcare workers don't know what they are doing, it can create a colossal problem that could have long-standing implications. Within the x-ray realm, x-ray specialists are trained vastly different from state to state. In most states, it is required that x-ray operators have a designation of radiologic technologist, where they are certified and registered with the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists. On top of that, virtually all states require that these registered technologists are responsible for hospital radiology departments. These professionals are highly trained and are very proficient in their trade. But in many states, freestanding clinics and urgent care centers require very little training for x-ray operation. Even though a majority of these operators have some form of safety training, many learn their skills on the job under the tutelage of a physician or peer. This standard leaves room for marginal errors, and it is understandable that patients would ask questions to determine their level of risk. As a patient, it would be prudent to ask the x-ray operator about their credentials and training in radiology. Secondly, it would be prudent for patients to always request lead aprons for their examinations, except for studies that have to do with their lumbar, abdominal, and pelvic regions. This is because when protecting the reproductive areas, the lead shielding could interfere with the diagnostic quality of the x-rays. But when x-rays are being administered to ancillary areas like the chest, skull, and extremities, always request that a lead apron be provided. Now, if for some reason an apron is not available, the damage from one x-ray exam is virtually non-existent. The patient more than likely will not realize any harmful effects at all. However, one never knows if they may need a CT scan the very next month, or if they are diagnosed with more serious illnesses, they may require many exams over a short period of time. So it is prudent to be watchful and treat every examination as though there will be more in the future. The best way to assess the competency of an individual is to watch their confidence level when doing their job. If they are confident, they will seamlessly work around you and they will be fairly quick and concise. Those who hesitate and seem to go back and forth with the equipment and even with their positioning of the patient may be less experienced. But know that some professionals are very precise and will check their work repeatedly before making an exposure. Keep in mind that it is not uncommon for operators to do retakes or add additional images to your study. This does not mean that they don't know what they are doing. Even the best in the industry occasionally retake their images. This can be attributed to a number of factors, some of which are unavoidable. There is indeed a fine line in determining the level of proficiency with an x-ray operator. They have a lot to consider when performing your exam. Trust me when I say it's a lot harder than it looks. Sometimes the best response to nervous Nancy's in the x-ray department is to encourage them and to have patience. The encouraging thing in all of this is that x-ray exposures create the greatest risk when a lot of exposure is given over a short period of time. Chances are your x-ray operator does know what they are doing and have received proper training, but it is wholly appropriate to ask the right questions and to hold your healthcare staff to a higher standard. That concludes this segment on how can I be sure my x-ray professional knows what they are doing. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.